One crucial thing that I use in all my projects and presentations is page inheritance. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to go ahead and add a new page here. And I'm going to rename this new page Buttons. And on this page I'm going to drag in a button from my gallery and duplicate it. So let's how about a, this blue pill button. I'm going to size it down just a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and create some copies of that and then I'm going to align and distribute them here. Okay, so I've got some buttons and I'm just going to set them up on my page. Now let's go ahead and create one more page here and I'm going to call this page background. I'll press OK and I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply a background texture to this. So we'll go to page properties, that's where we just were, but just going to go back now. We'll apply a gradient from yellow to orange and press OK. So there we go. We've got our background and our buttons page. Now let's go on to page one. Now let's suppose that we wanted to use that background and that button set on this page, but we didn't want to actually have the buttons in the background on this page. We just want to refer to them. So basically what we would do is double click on this page and choose in this inherit area background from page background and objects from page buttons. Okay, so we're inheriting those objects in that background at runtime. I'll press OK. As you can see, we see our changes in place here, but you can't actually edit these buttons. You'll notice you can't click on them or anything from page one. To edit them, you need to go to the buttons page. All right, now, why would we do this? Basically, for an application that's quite large, or even a small application where you're using the same elements over and over, it's more economical. And I'll explain this by creating some duplicates of this page. So if we go ahead and use our shift Control d duplicate to create a series of duplicate pages here, as you can see along the bottom of the screen, I just quickly created 50 pages. So this project is now 50 pages long. I'm going to go back to our main pages here. And as you can see, as we str scroll through these pages, they are all the same. If we go to any of these pages and try and click on the background element, you'll see that it's not present because it's inheriting it from the background page. So we can't actually edit that here. If we go ahead and change these colors, for example, when we press OK, nothing happens because it's being inherited. And if we try to ed edit the buttons, of course, we can't do that either. Now let's go back to the bat background page here, and we'll change the colors here. So I'm going to double click on my page, and I'm going to change it from yellow to orange, now instead I'm going to go yellow to blue and I'll press OK. You can see that's not a very nice color combination but it's quite obvious. As we go here through the pages now this new background is present. Okay, And again if we go ahead and edit this to yellow to purple for example the same thing. Alright now if we go to our button page for example and get rid of one of these buttons now when we go onto our project pages, of course there's only four buttons. You can't click on them, you can't align them, you can't do anything. To align them you need to come back to the buttons page and move them here. And instantly the changes are reflected in all 50 pages of our project. So basically the reason we're doing this is that if we want to come back later and make some sort of a change, for example, we just have to change that one page and it automatically changes all the pages in our product project. For this example we've got 50 pages in the project which is quite a bit. If you had to go through all 50 pages and change the buttons, for example, or the background, that would take you forever and it, it just wouldn't be worth it. Now, by using inheritance, you can offer these sort of things to your clients. You can say to your clients, hey, you know, all this stuff, none of it is written in stone if you want to make changes. Or if you're making projects for yourself, you don't have to worry about uh, updating information.